and select Arcane. We're off to Luck of the Irish Live 2024. You might remember my last year's video covering this exact show, and yes, it was equally as fun this time around. Alyssa and her mom Michelle generously host this show, as well as the fall Mischievous Masquerade Live. Both shows happen at the same venue in Acton, Ontario, which really isn't that far away from my house. Driving down and, of course, stopping for a Tim's run, we pull into the show hall. Unpacking my show boxes, I soon realize I forgot my jump. I need that for one of my performance classes. But Eric to the rescue, I sent him out to go get some sticks from outside close to the pond. I actually was not the only person who needed outside sticks. Alyssa outdoes herself every year with the ribbon design. And of course, I couldn't help but being drawn into the black accents of the champion and reserve ribbons. Black is the best color after all. I chose to show my usual lineup. Resin breed and workmanship, as well as performance. This time I threw in a few briars as well, including that Marabella that I fixed the ear tips of. But I was also dropped into judging. Mini breed, custom breed, and custom workmanship. You gotta do what you gotta do at local shows. Sometimes you just have to wear multiple hats and help out. Alyssa and I double judged this division. While I was judging Breed, she would come up behind me and judge collectability, and then swoop back to Briar OF. Alyssa is one of the most efficient judges I've ever seen work. Not as many usual showers could make it to this show, but it was still very competitive and difficult to judge the classes. Performance was wicked with some really hard-hitting entries. I won or placed in a few classes, but didn't stand a chance in the championships. My only saving grace for judging and showing at the same time in over so many classes was having Eric be a scribe. He has some experience with scribing at Toronto Live last year, and he dutifully entered all of the collectability and breed mini classes. Without him, we probably wouldn't have left the show hall until nighttime. It was a bit of a toss-up between OF Briar and OF Mini to see which division had the most entries. All of the Peter Stone showers weren't able to come this time. But there were a lot of brand new faces who I've never seen before. It's great that our local hobby is expanding. Eastern Region 11 has dipped in population of collectors and showers. A lot of our previous participants were junior showers who ended up moving away, going to university and so forth. And some older showers moved to different countries. So it was fabulous seeing brand new showers at the show. The raffles at both Luck of the Irish and Mischievous Masquerade are always super generous. Our community is always over the top with donations, and you never know what you're going to find. Brooke baked some cookies and entered them in the raffle. And Eric won them. And they are spectacular. I'm actually eating one right now. Running between five rings meant that I didn't really get a lot of time for pictures or videos. Luckily, Eric was walking around taking a lot of footage for me. But I did snap a ton of pictures, so let's roll the slideshow.
Massive shout out to Alyssa and Michelle for hosting Luck of the Irish Live again this year. It can be rough hosting a show, so I always really appreciate it. The nice thing about going to shows like Luck of the Irish Live is the tight-knit community that we all share. When someone forgets an item, somebody quickly runs over and hands them theirs. When someone has questions of what classes to go into, judges are always happy to help. It's why I love coming to this show. And Alyssa and Michelle are both planning to host Mischievous Masquerade live again this November, so I hope to see you there. Unfortunately, Eric and I didn't get to stay for the entire show because we had to run out. It was Orthodox Easter that weekend, so we had to run downtown and do some family stuff at the church. But if you like this video, please like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram at SelectArcane or on Facebook by the same name. And I hope to see you at Mischievous Masquerade Live. Thanks for watching. Bye.